in the first half of this game, the Rockets build a lead not simply on shooting from beyond the arc. They're doing everything else. And they were completely owning the effort. They were completely owning the effort of the game. Well, if my if I'm Mike D'Antoni, yes, I don't want to strip my guys of their confidence. I want them to feel comfortable in shooting three since that's how they got there. But I'm also imploring them, hey, we're winning based on effort, doing the little things. We're out beasting them down low. Let's keep doing this because it's keeping them uncomfortable. Once it got into a running gun, everybody shooting threes in the third, guess what? The Rockets don't want to be in that game. They don't want to win that way because they can't win that way. Why? Because if you get into run and gun and out three-pointer the Warriors without Chris Paul on the floor, you will absolutely lose. The Warriors have arguably the two greatest shooters ever in Steph Curry and Klay Thompson. And they add Kevin Durant, who's an elite shooter to him to his own right. So you think without Chris Paul, you're gonna out three point a team that has Steph. Clay, who's in foul trouble, and KD, it's not going to happen. So you've got to find other ways to win, and you've got to keep Houston. You've got to keep Golden State uncomfortable if you're Houston. And let me say this. This, to me, is the most important point. What sparked the Warriors in the third? All of those missed Rockets three-pointers. That sparked them. They fed off of every miss that the Rockets had, every miss. The way the Rockets played, played right into Golden State's hands. 